Hi, I'm Jeremiah Schoenberg, the Technical Support Manager for SWD Urethane. Today we'll be going over why paying attention to moisture content of the substrate before and during application is important. Here we start with our QS118 with a normal application and normal moisture content on OSB. Spring as if it's a roof line, I'm tying in the truss line across the studs. Then I come back and tie the corners in like it was a normal roof line. Here we have QS118 with normal application with 25% moisture. With 25% moisture content in the OSB and the 2x6s, adhesion is affected as we roll over. I then continue to tie, tie the truss line in. With the high moisture, you'd have to come back and do touch-ups to finish off the application. Here we are taking the age sample out of the application. There's no adhesion gap against the OSB, but adhesion was compromised with the 25% moisture content. Here we're spraying QS118 into the rise with normal moisture content on the OSB and truss line. Notice my angle and spring into the rise instead of riding the wave, so to speak. Notice the bumpy, fluffy cloud-like texture of the foam itself from spraying into the rise. Notice no adhesion gap once again, but once again with the high moisture content into the rise, adhesion against the substrate was compromised. Here we spray QS118 into the rise with 25% moisture on the OSB and the 2x6s.
In this sample, you can see the wood grain, but the adhesion itself was compromised. On this sample, you see a bit of an adhesion gap on the right-hand side with compromise in the adhesion as well from the 25% moisture and spraying to the rise. Here we spray QS112, normal application, normal moisture against OSB, like we were spraying a roof line once again. And now we're spraying Quick Shield 112 with a moisture content in the substrate of 25%. Once again, you can see the curl on the, the 2x6 stud from the moisture content on the stud itself. With the high moisture, you can see the spider webbing and adhesion concerns once again. Here's QS112 into the rise at normal moisture. Notice we're spraying into the wave, not riding the wave. Notice the inconsistent texture or quote unquote fluffy clouds almost like open cell. No adhesion gap on this spray, but adhesion was compromised. And here we go for the final spray of QS112 into the rise with the 25% moisture on the OSB and the 2x6 studs.
Once again, with high moisture content and spraying into the rise, adhesion is compromised even though there is no adhesion gap against the OSB. 